You are about to witness the very exciting story of a city and its people. It will be an adventure that will open new sights in familiar surroundings. It is a story of a city seeking new horizons in a resolute contest with great challenges. That city is Detroit, home of nearly two million people. Back in 1701, long before this land became a nation, Cadillac planted the colors of France on Detroit's shore. And thus began a rich and inspiring history which has brought Detroit to its finest hour, the today of which we are a part. Yes, Detroit is enjoying its finest hour. There is a renaissance, a, a rebirth in the city. There's a newness in Detroit. I am honored to be serving as mayor at this most eventful and productive period in Detroit's history. And I'm honored to be a participant in the Detroit story. called the most cosmopolitan city of the Midwest, Detroit today stands at the threshold of a bright new future, one rich with the promise of fulfillment. In this bustling city on the Straits, where British and American flags soon followed the French, a spirit of brotherhood was born and nurtured, foreshadowing the city's national character. Here, people from many nations have met and mixed and built a metropolis of thriving commerce and culture. The Detroit River flows past the city's front door, the world's busiest waterway. This river is a vital passage to the Great Lakes and to the St. Lawrence Seaway beyond. Detroiters just naturally take to the water. They enjoy more sparkling, pure water than any similar area in the world. Detroit, the crossroads of half the population of the United States is but minutes away by bridge or tunnel from Canada. Between these friendly neighbors, the Detroit River forms part of the world's longest undefended boundary. Detroiters are responding to an exciting new vision. There is a resurgence of civic pride and unfettered imagination. A new renaissance is changing the face of the city. This renaissance, seen everywhere, is the direct result of considered planning, the applied skills of planners, idea men, organizers, builders, Detroiters who welcome and respond to challenges. Today, they are charting new courses, taking new action, creating a new concept of urban efficiency. This concept of a finer Detroit takes bold new form. Designing skill blends with imagination and experience. Leaves rolled up, Detroit levels and shifts and carves the contours of a new city. And a new spirit of progress matches the vision of its people. New buildings put solid roots in the ground and stretch toward the sky.
reflected here is planning with a purpose. New office buildings alter the landscape, each in turn becoming a bright landmark of progress. Detroit is rebuilding to a master plan of beauty and public service. Detroit is daring to reach up. The inner city is becoming an exciting place to live. Convenient to shops, offices, and the most modern of schools. Some Detroiters prefer to dwell in these new, self-contained cities within a city. Others in new cooperatives or friendly neighborhoods. Whatever the choice, Detroiters rate their city high for living, working, and sheer enjoyment. Fine restaurants call you to good food. This popular restaurant also features a breathtaking view of the city and river. Following dinner, there's the excitement of a night on the town. The opera, perhaps. Detroit is one of the few cities outside New York which attracts the Metropolitan Opera.